Hey everybody, I'm Rana Frank P, and welcome back to the 10th episode already of Room Tour Project, my favorite series where we show off the best battle stations and gaming setups. For this episode, we're going to have special guest Liam from the Casual UK YouTube channel. He does a lot of tech reviews, and he's going to be showing off his setup and what powers his YouTube channel. And in honor of me hitting 50,000 subscribers last week and kind of hitting that 10th episode milestone, we're going to be having a very, very special and awesome giveaway, uh, giving away two keyboards. So stay tuned to the end of the video for more information on that. It's gonna be really awesome. But uh, first off, let's kick off episode 10. Okay, so this first setup from YouTuber Ryu Kondo. I hope that wasn't incredibly racist, but he is actually, I want to give him a very special shout out because he is actually one of the first YouTubers that I've actually watched an entire gaming setup on. This is really what inspired me to better my gaming setup and make a room tour all the way back in 2013. And look at that, he's got full out theater seating in his room with all that crazy equipment. He has all the consoles, this is obviously an updated one, the one that I've seen. But he has the Razer Chimera headset, as you saw in there, the PS4. He has a 55-inch 1080p LED 3D TV mounted to his wall. It is massive, looks crazy nice with all of his DJ equipment. Now you see the subwoofers and stuff on the bottom as well with the extra speakers. And that extra DJ equipment is the Newmark NS7FX. Um, he put the, the info on this stuff, I did not, but he also has the Razer Black Widow Chroma, that's one of the first ones because it's blue, the Razer Naga Mouse, the Razer Atrox Fight Stick, and another DJ gaming pad as you can see, well not gaming pad, it's another DJ pad up there, the 27-inch uh, iMac, an Alienware, and again another TV next to his, his 55-inch TV, that's a 46 1080p LED 3D TV, so two massive 3D TVs in his room and just some more and more stuff. Like this guy has got it all, but like I said, he was one of the first ones, so I wanted to give him a special shout out for inspiring me. Next up from Latoaster, we don't have a lot of info, um, but I wanted to show you guys this setup because it was very unique, very cool, very everything was nice and organized, and you can't ignore all of those crazy knives he has just everywhere on his wall. Like I said, I love the way he has the double monitors, kind of looks like it's curved with the, the wooden desk and the speakers very nicely on the side. Everything looks very neat and organized, and this is all in his room, so you can see right there is his bed. So this is all in the corner along with his... Uh, his drum kit so he has a few you know a few things going on here uh, this is his gaming chair but I just thought the the knife collection was really something unique we haven't seen in the past It'll go along with a really nice setup in this one if you're a big fan of LED lights this guy has got a crazy happy room going on uh, yes going along with his name he has the little wooden icon there this guy's a big keyboard fan. Um, I, I love keyboards. You got the Corsair Gaming K70, as I said, the Poker 2, a DOS keyboard, a bunch of different keycaps, making everything look really, really nice. But as I noted, this guy, crazy with LED lights, is a giant disco room. Um, he actually has five Philips Hue lamps in his room, and scroll along, naming some stuff on his PC. He has the Core i7 3770 inside, 8 gigabytes of RAM, the EVGA 780 Ti, and he has two 27-inch uh, Dell LED monitors. I'm not too sure what that one up top is. It looks maybe a little bit smaller, just like a little overhead screen. And those lamps are actually flashing to the music he's playing, and creepy-ass baby doll thing right there. But uh, and some other stuff he has in his setup is the Audio Technica 2035 mic into a Yamaha AG03 audio interface. But just overall, a really, really nice gaming setup. Um, primarily just because the LED lights are crazy. It's a really fun room, and uh, just don't have a seizure while you're watching this. And now for one of the most simplistic setups that we ever had on the show, probably, uh, from Fabric. I'm just going to read off some of the stuff he has while you watch. He's got the SteelSeries Rival Mouse, the HyperX Cloud Gaming Headset, which is just great. The, uh, that's the Philips Living Color LED Lamp, showing off the, uh, the LED light behind him. He's got a Bose Mini Sound Link, uh, an LG 29UM65 Ultra Wide Monitor, a Refine R4 case coming up in all white, and inside he's got the AMD FX. 8320, a GTX 970, and 8GB of RAM. So overall, one of the more simplistic setups you've ever seen. I really like it. It's a great style. Hello guys, my name is Liam Biggs and I run the Casual UK YouTube channel which basically features a range of gaming and technology uh, products, reviews, unboxings, etc. So yeah, 
head on over to my channel and check it out if you wish. But a big big thank you goes out to Frank for having me on the room tour series. So I hope you guys like what you see. I'm gonna show you my setup. I'm gonna show you where I store my products and also where I film mo the majority of my videos. So first of all guys, this is my dining table and this is actually where I do all my videoing of products. As you can see, all the products here are currently ones to be videoed and reviews, but this is basically where I do that. So to actually record the videos, I use my Canon 70D with a 17 to 40 lens, Rode mic on top, three-way pan and uh, tilt head down here on um, some red snapper legs and also my main camera is on a Manfrotto fluid head um, with some Manfrotto legs. So moving on to my main setup, I'm going to give you guys a two to three minute rundown of everything that's here. But first of all, down the side of the desk is my MSI laptop. It's actually inside the bag at the moment. It's a GT70 2PC. Uh, it's got 24 gigs of RAM, upgraded SSDs, etc. But this first of all here, is my GT Omega Racing CAS Esports Limited Edition Evo XL chair. This thing is super comfy. Uh, yeah, just a really, really nice chair. Also work for the company as well. So, um, right, let's move on to the desk. So where do we start? So as you can see, I've got two AOC 1080p monitors, uh, obviously black 24 inch. Um, then I have my Bayer Dynamic DT770 Pro 250 ohm version, which obviously feed into my focus right um, eye track solo um, basically is like a class of like an audio mixer for the PC, um, and like a USB interface. Then we have my Mac Mini 2012 i7, which I actually use for this display. Then obviously, this is my Windows PC on this monitor with a Logitech webcam on top, which is powered by my Corsair 350 case, sorry, 350D case with obviously inside an i5 processor 3570K with the red and black theme with white lights, uh, GTX 670 Mini in there. Obviously, I don't game a lot, so I just need power for rendering. Um, as far as the keyboard, I have the Logitech K750 Solar keyboard with a MX Master mouse, small Corsair gaming mouse map, uh, card reader, Blue Lounge um, Sumo, I think it's classed as like the thing that holds the cable down, and a Hinge Docks Gravitas uh, dock for the iPhone 6. Um, as far as my phones, I have an iPhone 6 Plus and also an iPhone 6, one for personal, one for business. Um, yeah, so there's the 350D. On top, I have my custom V Motor um, M100 crossfades. Uh, underneath the desk, I have my printer, Astray 40 mix amp controllers, two Elgatos, uh, Xbox One A50 mixer for the Astros, and also obviously the PlayStation 4. A little bit dusty down there because I don't really use it too much. Uh, but yeah, that's almost the kind of bottom half of the desk should we say covered including the monitors and obviously my uh, pc up here this is where my canon g7x usually sits that i'm currently using to film this video canon 24 to 105 canon 50 mil 1.4 lens hoods my 4g mobile dongle uh, speakers audio ac wireless uh, speakers um, sms audio sport sync by 50s um, we just have a few letters here, we'll just hide them for a minute. Obviously I have my Xbox One and PS4 games with my Day One Edition controller. In here I have a uh, MacBook Air 2014 uh, i5 128GB and this in here is my MacBook Pro Retina. Uh, 2014 15 inch top spec model. As you can see, chair, computer screens, desks. Um, yeah, it's really, really nice, very, very productive. Oh yeah, I forgot to say about my Rode NT-USB, and this is what the microphone that I use to record all of my voiceovers. So there you have it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little kind of overview rundown of the setup that I use, and obviously the equipment I use to make my videos, and also where I store my products, but yeah. Thanks for watching uh, this part of the video. A big thank you once again goes out to Frank for including me in the room tour project. And I'll see you guys hopefully on one of my videos on my channel. All right, everybody, it's going to do it for episode 10 of Room Tour Project. Again, special thank you to Liam from Casual UK for showing off your setup. I hope your fans enjoy it, and I hope my fans enjoy it as well. So don't forget, check out his channel. He's got a lot of cool tech reviews. And like I said earlier, if you made it this far, in honor of me hitting 50,000 subscribers and this being episode 10, we are going to be doing a very special giveaway. I'm going to be giving away two 
of the SteelSeries Apex M800s. One is the review copy that I had and the other one is brand new, straight from SteelSeries. If you want to enter that giveaway, there will be a link in the description down below how you can enter. It's going to be pretty much just subscribing to my channel and follow me on Twitter. And at the end of the month, I will be picking two winners. So you can have a chance to win one of two SteelSeries Apex M800 keyboards. I did a review on it a few weeks ago. It's a really, really awesome keyboard. So it's going to be my way of giving back to you guys for again, hitting 50k subscribers and having the reach the 10th episode of Room Tour Project. So hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below if you liked it and have any questions. Hit me up on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And if you have any favorite YouTubers who you want to see on the show, tell them. Talk to them on Twitter. Tell them you want to get them on the show. That'd be really awesome. So hope you guys enjoyed episode 10. I'm Random Frank P. Have a good day.